Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. Now I've got another technique for you today. And again, we are stretching our stash as such and we are using our craft tools in different ways. So today I've used dies to create a 3D embossing folder look. Now this is really simple to achieve. All you need is some dies that layer up. So uh, layering dies are really easy to find. They're very common in the craft market nowadays. I'm going to be using my textures, flora and fauna set. Um, this has lots of smaller dies and they have lots of them anyway have layers within them that you can mix and match and layer up so these have been absolutely perfect um, but there are lots of others out there too you most probably own some so let's get started with this tutorial super quick so all you're going to need is some cardstock so you're going to need the panel that you want to create the faux 3d embossing folder look on um, and some spare cardstock in exactly the same color you're going to need some wet glue and some tweezers and of course your dies so all I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut lots of my layering dies into the spare cardstock that I've got that matches the colour of the panel that I want to create the effect on. Now if you don't have layering dies but you still like to play with this effect, you can quite simply take some nesting dies, they will work as well, and you can just layer up some larger nesting dies with some smaller nesting dies. Once I've created this effect for you once, you'll see how easy it is to recreate with other dies too. Now all my pieces are cut out, I'm just going to apply wet glue to the back and start building up the layers onto the panel of a similar colour cardstock. I'd say go for the identical colour cardstock as well rather than just similar. Um, maybe I should say the identical cardstock here. And you want to start gluing down your shapes of your layering pieces onto your cardstock, the panel that you already cut to size. Um, using a wet glue, any pieces that seep out here will dry clear. So just start layering. Um, you can overlap the edges and trim those down a little bit later, but essentially the main, most important thing here is to make sure you get glue all the way to the edges of your pieces. You don't want any elements lifting up because that's just going to ruin the whole effect. And another tip for you here, whenever I'm trying to arrange lots of pieces onto a background, I always start with my biggest elements first and then I fit the smaller ones in around it. It's much easier than trying to do it the other way around. The beauty of these particular laying flowers from my floral folk art collection is that I can move the flower heads so that they fit my piece so that I can have them bending around to the left or to the right and just move the direction of them quite easily. Now not every element on your panel needs to be 3D either. So if you want to lay some pieces and some shapes as single layers, that's only going to enhance the look because true 3D embossing folders will have some raised areas more than others. Now when everything's stuck well and the glue's dried, I'm just going to turn this over and I'm going to trim all the overlapping pieces really close to the panel edge but you really do want your pieces and your glue to be dry by now because if not, you could risk moving them. Don't forget at times you will be cutting through two layers. So make sure you've got a really good sharp pair of scissors for this. So there's our basic 3D embossed panel. Doesn't that look amazing considering it's just some die cuts? So there are two panels using the same dies giving me that faux three dimensional embossing look. Let's take a look at those basic shape ones as well. So for those of you who don't have a die cutting machine, another option for you is to create this effect with strips of cardstock or hand cut shapes. Uh, I'm going to use my trimmer to cut myself some one and a half centimeter, it's a kind of around about half an inch width strips. Um, again, using the same color cardstock as I'm going to use for my back panel. And once I've cut these, I'm then going to cut myself some smaller pieces and these are going to be around about um, three quarters of a centimeter and these are going to layer on top of the bigger strips. So a quick tip for you, I'm just using my nested dies here to create a similar effect. 
if you've got a cardstock as I have here with my craft that's a different colour on uh, both sides make sure you're always using the same side that's going to be showing and the same if you have a cardstock that's textured on one side which some are now if you're using nesting dies as I am here you could use squares hearts circles I'm using hexagons here um, you can layer up two or three layers as well if you want to you've got that opportunity to do so but um, you've also got the chance to either lay these so that they are um, nicely spaced out and evenly spaced or you could lay them so that they are completely random for another fun effect this looks particularly good actually with uh, circles So there's some different ways for you to create a 3D embossed look with your craft tools. Now, whether or not you've got a die cutting machine, you can of course still use this. If you do have a die cutting machine, the dies that I've used are all linked down below in the description, as is anything else I've used, such as my trimmer, for example. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this technique. Please do join me again by subscribing and I'd love it if you enjoyed this video, if you could give this a thumbs up. I hope to see you again very soon. Take care.